Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. Fireball Junior to Professor Maddock. Nose cone disconnected. On our way down to Planet Electron. You're right, you, Steve. You haven't got long, Steve. Remember, we're way behind schedule. I'm sorry I won't have time to introduce you to the people of Electron, Fraser, but you just mentioned my name. Well, what type of people are they, Steve? Well, they're simple folk who live in small communities scattered widely over the planet. I guess they're a little backward compared to Earth, but they sure are hospitable. I'm sure I'll get on fine with them, Colonel Zodiac. And I appreciate you stopping off here. town's just on the other side of the hills. Not much of a place, but it's comfortable there. Kind of homey and old-fashioned. Okay, Steve. I'll give the electons your regards. Let's see. I've got all my survey equipment. Well, guess I'm ready. Fireball Junior to XL5. Fraser has disembarked, Matt. I'm on my way back. Fraser will be okay down there. Sure he will, Venus. The electrons are real friendly people. <laughs> anyway, Fraser's a typical geologist. His survey will keep him pretty busy. Hello? Anyone about? from Earth. It's okay. I'm a friend. Hey, that's mighty strange. The place seems deserted. This room hasn't been used in weeks. And the meal, it's been left unfinished. It sure looks as though they left in a hurry. Something sure must have scared them. Who's there? Hey, watch it, Fraser. You're getting jumpy. It was only the wind. The wind slammed the door. Now, let's see. Where can I stay? Steve said something about a hotel on the edge of the town. 
Well, I'll try that first. Well, it's not exactly the Ritz, but I guess it'll do. Let's hope they got in a good supply of food before they took off. Gee, gee, I'm in luck. Oh, it'll soon be night. Well, I'll check the bedrooms. Guess Fraser will have turned in by now. It's nighttime on planet Electron. Yeah, it could be, Steve. But it's my guess that the people of Electron are giving a party in his honor. You yeah, reckon I'll sleep here, okay? Say. That light, hey, it seems to be coming from that rock. Yeah, electric rock. Boy, boy, what a discovery. Must be how they light their homes. Well, I guess I'll have a meal and turn in. I want to make an early start tomorrow. Could be there's a lot more of this stuff around. <laughs> Looks as if there's plenty of this electric rock around. Gee. Gee, now this stuff would be worth a fortune back on Earth. There's tons of it here, just waiting to be dug out. I, I'll start right away. Take back some samples. <laughs> Month's digging has got me quite a pile of this stuff. Oh, I'll be rich. I'll be rich. And I'm not sharing it with anyone. Ah, oh, maybe Steve Zodiac will get a cut for taking it back for me. But that's all. The rest is mine. <laughs> all mine. Hey, hey, I found some exploding rock. I found some exploding rock. Oh. And, and boy, is that gonna help me dig out this electric ore? Well, I can work ten times as fast. Are you ready for the mission center? We must visit planet Electron to get our supply of the electric rock. Do you think the inhabitants will have returned to their town? If they have, we will be forced to use the same methods as before to move them away. Uh, but why cannot we talk to the electrons? You are so young, Center. Someday, perhaps, you will learn that we Grovarians must accept our shyness. The electrons are much bigger than us. They could harm us, and we have no weapons. Hala is so wise. He must be right. Perhaps when I am older, I will have as much wisdom. Hurry, Senta. I am switching on the magnets that will pull us to planet Electron.
see how fast we travel, said Doc. All I do is increase the power of the magnets in the front of the craft. And we are pulled by magnetism faster towards our destination. Now we will collect fresh supplies of the electric rock so that our planet can be lit? Yes. Our people will thank us for supplying the means to light their homes. Bombs away! What does this mean? Why should there be an explosion? I do not know. We will look very carefully. He is not an electron. No, he is from another planet. We are lucky our landing was silent. He does not know we are here. But see, he is collecting together the electric rock. The very thing we have come for. We must stop him, but how? We will use the same methods as we employed to get rid of the electrons from the town. Let's hope it will be as effective. Eighty days alone. And now at last I shall be seeing other Earthmen. Fireball XL5 is due to arrive today. Hey, hey, supposing it's behind schedule. Oh, 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 oh no. No, it mustn't be. It mustn't be. <laughs> In orbit around planet Electron, Steve. Roger, Venus. We're ready to disconnect nose cone. Okay, Steve. Rabbits in central control. Disconnecting now. Hey, what's that I hear? Is it a spaceship? I oh, hope I'm not imagining it. A spaceship? That means more of the big men are coming. All right. Land, you big people. But when we have finished with you, you'll wish you'd never seen Electron. <laughs> There, Fraser. How you been? Say, you're looking a little rough. Anything wrong? Fraser, you're sick. What's happened? Oh, never mind that now. I'm okay. But I've made a fantastic discovery. Electric rock. There it is. Right over there. Now, if you boys will just help me load these rocks into your ship, we can lift off right away. Oh, now, wait a minute. Hold on, Fraser. Huh? We're not taking that pile of rocks back to Earth. No, sir. We'd never get off the ground. Well, I'm not leaving here without it. It's going to make me a pile of dough. I've worked for three months to get that. I'll give you a cut of the profit, Zodiac. No one need know about it. But just let's get it back to Earth. I'm sorry. No, nothing doing, Fraser. I'll take a sample piece, but that's all. OK. You've got till the morning to think it over. But I'm warning you, Zodiac. I mean business. <laughs> Steve, I'm worried about Fraser. He's a sick man. Being all this time alone has affected him badly. He's suffering from a form of space melancholia. Well, how serious is it, Venus? Difficult to say, Steve. But he may need special treatment. Yeah, but meanwhile, he's got this idea in his head about these rocks. He's got rocks in his head, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Zuni's very restless, Steve. I think he senses someone outside. Oh, he must be wrong. This is nothing but a ghost town. Steve, don't say that. 
I'm scared enough already. Soon we will go to work. Senta, we must prepare things. Yes, Hala, your plan is a good one. Let us hope it will work as it did with the electrons. Now come along, Zuni. We are all going to bed. Come and try out the nice basket Steve found for you. <coughs> now come on, Zuni. Don't be silly. Oh, leave him, Venus. He'll settle down when we've gone. <coughs> What's happening to the covers? What's going on? And that strange noise. What is it? Oh, I'm scared. I'm going to see Steve. Steve. Steve, are you asleep? Oh, Venus. What's wrong? Steve, there are strange things going on in this house. I think... I think it's haunted. Oh, Venus. Now, you know better than that. You're having a nightmare, that's all. No, no, Steve. You don't understand. I haven't been dreaming. Oh, go back to bed, Venus. You're tired out. I'll get some sleep. Oh, well, maybe you're right, Steve. Good night. Yeah. Good night, Venus. Uh, oh, well, enough reading for tonight. You, too. Venus was in here just now with the same story. Now, will you please go back to bed and let me get some sleep? Someone's prowling around. Whoever it is, is going down the stairs. I must look. I've got to find out what's going on. Oh, if only I wasn't so scared. I didn't imagine that. The front door definitely closed. But Steve will never believe me. Oh, 
Well, we've covered every inch of the place and found nothing. Only that phrase has disappeared, Steve. Well, it's dawn now. Let's get dressed. We've got to find Fraser and talk him out of this crazy scheme. Fraser, we're leaving in Fireball Junior. You've got ten minutes before liftoff. Don't move another step. You're not leaving this planet until my electric rock is loaded aboard. Now be sensible, Fraser. Come down and get into the ship. I'm okay, Venus. I'm just faking. You and Matt drag me back behind those rocks. So I got Zodiac, eh? <laughs> That'll show you I'm not bluffing. Oh, great. Now keep him talking, Matt. I'll try to creep up behind him. I can use these rocks for cover. Okay, Steve, but be careful. That explosive rock is dead. Steve Zodiac is hurt bad, Fraser. He needs real urgent attention. First, you will load my electric rock, then you can see to him. You can't do this, Fraser. Put that catapult down. Come down from there and we can talk it over. We gotta help Steve. Nothing doing, Professor. Just start loading up my electric rock. Now, see here, Fraser. Now, be reasonable about this. You know we can't keep that rock. Get moving to the rock pile, Professor. Then we'll take care of Zodiac. Oh, I might have guessed you'd be up to something, Zodiac. Creeping up on a guy like that. Put that catapult down or I'll fire. If you do, Zodiac, I'll fall under this explosive rock and it'll be curtains for all of us. Now put that ray gun down. Okay, Fraser. I guess you're calling a tune. I don't think I like you, Zodiac. Guess I'll take care of you anyway. Oh, for Pete's sake, you don't realize what you're doing. Save it, Zodiac. <laughs> spacecraft. We help the one called Zodiac because you tried to save the electric rock. I don't know who you are, but I'd sure like to thank you. I'll, uh... Get Fraser in the Fireball Junior, Steve, <laughs> while he's still groggy. Okay, Matt. Now, meanwhile, maybe you two would tell me what this is all about. We come from planet Groveris, the next planet to Electon. Was it you who scared the Electons from their town? That is correct. You see, we are timid people. We thought the Electons would prevent us from getting the electric rock. But the Electons are friendly. All you needed to do was to ask them for some rock. There's enough for both of you. But what about the transport costs? It is easy for us. We live on the next planet, and we use our magnets to transport it. Yes. Our magnets uh, can do almost anything. Didn't you notice something strange last night? Oh, of course. The haunted house business. So it was you who rigged up that spook act. All done with magnets, eh? Yes. I'll show you. Oh, more important, you'd better get in touch with the Electons and apologize. I guess they're on another part of the planet. Yes. Now we have no fear of them, we will talk. Well, it won't be long now before this place is full of happy people again, Venus. Yes, Steve. Hala and Santa have gone to collect the Electons. Pity we can't stay for the homecoming, but duty calls. That's the space patrol for you, always on the move. Come on, Venus, let's go. I wish. 
wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5, way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes, we'd take the path to Jupiter and maybe very soon we'd cruise along the Milky Way and land upon the moon to a wonderland of stardust. We'll zoom our way to Mars. My heart would be a fireball. 